I've had this deck idea in my head for some time, where I've been playing with the idea of having a Sarah turn 5 into a Spectrum Hazmat turn 6 on an ongoing list to give you a plus 3 delta against your opponent with a burst turn 6 play. And uh, with the recent buff to Luke Cage, I think this deck becomes more viable. Now what's interesting about this is you're going to see in these gameplay highlights that were recorded live on Twitch TV, by the way, I'd love if you join us, um, that they are featuring Luke Cage as a 2-1. That's because this was recorded like late Wednesday night, just before the OTA uh, patch update kind of went out. No one had anticipated that Luke Cage was going to get buffed, but I still think that this deck is relevant. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty fun, and it's Luke Cage is just better now, right? So uh, I think that it's worth checking out. The key thing about it is that your opponent really doesn't know what you're doing. Obviously, there's an ongoing list and stuff like that. Now, one thing you might want to consider as well is uh, if you are facing lots of enchantresses, you could take out the Captain America and instead put in a uh, Cosmo, which will help protect your location from any sort of enchantress play. So that is a substitution worth considering. Uh, you also have the Namor and Wong, which I absolutely love because with the amount of procs you can get with Wong Spectrum, Wong Hazmat, that Namor is going to stand very strong in a solo location. Just be sure that when you're playing out your cards that you keep in mind that Namor wants to be by himself. So don't just go three wide for no reason early on in the game because you might want to play Namor on turn five or even on turn six if you don't get the draws as required. Regardless, guys, I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. Hit the like button if you'd like to support the series, my content, and the videos that I cover for Marvel Snap. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Marvel Snap video. So we've snapped turn two into negative zone, holding Luke Cage in our hands. It's an absolute must snap. An absolute must snap. Sakar. It's Sakar, is it? Willing to play Typhoid Mario. We don't want Hazmat to drop yet. They're not going to be able to compete into negative zone anyway. Pull that Sarah. Pull the damn Sarah. Why does Sakar have to ruin me? Pull Sarah. Yes, let's go. It's so good. Oh, this game is too easy. I'm being blessed this game. This, this, this location is just one. It's Namor, Cosmo. We might slowly run out of space here. Look at that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alrighty then. Just so brutal. It's so brutal. What do you even say to the man? Do I break his heart right now and drop Luke Cage? He's going to leave as soon as Luke Cage drops. There's no way as soon as he sees Luke Cage that he stays in this game. He's probably thinking, why is this guy zooming into negative zone? Because Luke Cage is not a commonly played card. Goose? Luke Cage. Turns into an 8 power. Okay, I respect that. Decent play there. I like the Cerebro. We have Hazmat Spectrum to finish it. This is like the most blessed game ever. You almost feel bad. No chance. No chance of victory at all. Just absolutely no chance. Look at this. Colossus stays propped up. That's an ongoing card. Oh my god. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access VPN. A virtual private network, or VPN for short, shields your digital life from those looking to exploit your personal information. It does so by hiding your IP address and safeguarding your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Whenever you connect to the internet, whether it be on public Wi-Fi at airports or coffee shops, your data is at risk of being compromised. Private Internet Access protects you from the eyes of hackers, internet service providers, and others that would seek to access your personal data. It also never records or stores user data, and it's no logs policy has been proven in court and by third-party audits. Private internet access allows you to access region-restricted content like sports events that might have regional blackouts. It can also be used to watch Netflix content which may not be available in your region. For instance, as a Canadian, I can't watch The Amazing Race, but when I switch over to the American Netflix, I'm watching it in no time.
Just like Kang the Conqueror, private internet access VPN is available everywhere, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. Most notably, you can protect an unlimited number of your devices at the same time. Signing up for private internet access VPN is risk-free, with a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support. By using the link in the description and the comment section below, you'll get an 83% discount on private internet access VPN, while also getting an extra 4 months free. Stay safe out there. Huh? Captain America out Cosmo in is probably what it is. I agree with the Cosmo call, especially with the update to um, Enchantress. This person's name is Mega Man Music. Love that. We don't really want to play anything in the Vermeer. Oh. Zabu is very good. But I think we're going to cap here. So if you think about it, the thing about win rates that's so key is that anything above 50% naturally is going to be, you know, you could win technically with it, right? But I think the important consideration, a really, really valuable consideration, is that um, the higher your win rate goes up, the fewer games it takes, right? To get to infinite, to get to whatever. I should have typhoided in Klein Tower, but it doesn't matter because I do have Luke Cage out. Kind of want Wong here. I like Sarah. Sarah's good. Sarah allows... I'm going to let them snap. Sarah allows for the hazmat spectrum combination. Viper's over something. Okay. Okay. It's Hazmat first. Goose, Zabu, both are cats. Doesn't even matter. Goose, Spectrum. We can still win. Because we trade here with Spectrum. Yeah. I'm not, I would snap here for A, but let's just go. I don't want him to leave. Devil Dinosaur is huge, but he it does. Did, did he just not do math? Uh, Mega Man Music has a good taste in soundtracks, but gave no consideration to doing math on that game there. We get the dub, it's very clean, but Mega Man, unfortunately, I don't think you're ever going to win that one with that play. Whoa, man. <laughs> they obviously didn't account for the cards being played down. I've been there, I've done it. Oh, get wrecked. Savage Land's good for us. Hey, I'm going to snap here. Let's snap mid-turn. Snapping mid-turn is what all the cool kids are doing now. I'm going to give them Zabu. I'm definitely not going to give them Luke Cage. Throws down Adam Warlock. Ah, can we, I think we should give, give him cards here. Give him Mr. Fantastic. What's the big deal? Oh, he gets the draw. Okay. That's a big deal, I guess. I think it's turn five, Cage Hazmat. I don't think we play Spectrum this game. I think it's I think it's Namor. Wow, I out trade, out trade She Hulk. That's wild. I don't think he expected that. Typhoid is fascinating. I think it's I think it's Sarah. Yeah, they have a massive hand too. But they're not really drawing much. I think this is actually a really interesting game here because we're basically stuffing their draw. Sarah's useless on turn six, naturally. Shang-Chi? Doc Ock. That doesn't bother me. Kind of sad Wong doesn't go... Or we don't have Wong, do we? Okay. We still win. Still a very clean victory, in my opinion. In theory, could lose left. We only gap it by a couple points. Sunspot can ramp it, but if he conserves too much power, how's he actually win on the other side? We're getting quite a bit back. It's Cosmo mid. Luke Cage props everyone back up. Mr. Fantastic, not enough. Oh, goes for the Fancy Pants, Mr. Fantastic play. Oh! Ultimately loses. Uh -huh. 
that was a clean game. I actually really like how that game went down. I really like that one. And, uh, you know, fist bump to you as well, sir. That one was clean. I like that one a lot. And Typhoid Mary sitting as a cool 20 power in the throne room. No more could have hold, held it. No more could have held it. I do like their deck, though. Very experimental. And we need to put uh, Cosmo in. Cosmo needs to go in the deck. I don't have MTG bot, Walker. I should get I should get a bot. I need a bot. I definitely need a bot. Let's get Zabu out here. It's Goose. Bruh. I like playing the more later in the game. Oh my god, Savage Land. Brutal. Absolute brutes. It can oh, this can turn into Savage Lands? Are you kidding me? It's awful. So awful. If it turns into Collapse Mind, it's still screwed anyway. Either way, I get destroyed. I think I skipped this turn. This is so bad. This is going to be a turn six no more. All right, the rock still dies. Okay, we can Sarah here to... If we pull Luke Cage, magic might happen. Yeah, high evolution, I think, is the one to wait for. Definitely. High evolution's amazing. Come on, Luke Cage. Luke Cage, Luke Cage. Oh, Spectrum. Spectrum, I love you, but no. 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 Okay, we got to open with Hazmat. Because they're going to go first. Open Hazmat. Ant-Man, Namor, and probably still just Typhoid Mary. Potentially Silver Surfer incoming. Yeah, that's sad. Let's see if we trade this, though. We'll trade mid for sure. That's a loss. Gotta get the dubs. You gotta get the dubs.